I am going to put my hands around your fucking neck, and I'm uh, going to deplete your body of oxygen if you don't play this correctly. One more time from the top. One, two, three. <laughs> Motherfucker! <laughs> You're listening to the Double D's podcast. I'm Dom. Come to respect. We got a great set of tits. I get so angry thinking about this kid. Because that's what most people are bitching about. I'm from New York. You heard me. We like to eat out here. You, know? you gotta stop looking at interacting with people online as a cheap date. <gasps> My father used to drink. Get the fuck away from me. I'm done. I come a lot, by the way. Hey, you're a good boy, the rap star. If you didn't say it, somebody in the comment section would have said it. It's like how you feel when you're having a paranoid high. That's a dynamic connection right there. I get it. I thought you were doing like a Star Wars thing. No, 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 Sound no. Sound like, like, like Darth Vader entering a room. If you're listening to this podcast via iTunes, we want to beg you guys. Rob, Ron, and I, we're on our knees right now. We, we want to beg you to, to comment, to subscribe, and to rate us on iTunes. As I remind you guys every week, it helps the Double D's podcast out so very very much we want to encourage you guys to be active within the itunes community so please help us out thanks yeah thank you <clears throat> you know what i'm saying i'm saying how are you doing sir i'm doing all right you know life is good uh watching good movies house of cards just came out today uh, uh, mm, mm. house of cards you, you like house of cards i'm excited i'm excited no i do not watch it I don't. So what are you excited for? I don't because I'm being sarcastic. Fucking liar. That's, that's what I'm, I'm doing. doing. Oh, good, wait a minute. Right? I, wait. I, hold up. Got a call. Call. Okay. Uh, just a little t- a text message. I'm sorry. Go ahead. What were you saying? Turn your phone up. You're know, unprofessional. Right? Okay. 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 Go ahead. All right, if, if we have a Oh, wait a minute. Oh, got another. Hold up. One second. One second. Go oh, ahead. And t- go ahead and talk God, to these people. Fucking yeah. <laughs> what is it? You see what I had to deal with? Yeah. Well. Uh, we'll Listen we'll to make this sure shit. we take care of that stuff oh, yeah. later. I mean, he's no, it's, not it's even. Fine. It's, I'm not doing he's, he's anything not right doing now. Important. I'm just doing anything. No, it's just a stupid hey, podcast. This is this is our life right now. All right, we'll, we'll talk important. later. We'll talk later. Hey, what's up, guy? So okay. you're all Hollywood now, huh? Uh, well, Ever uh, since you got a couple thousand uh, views was, on that Drake uh, video, huh? You, you think you're too good? For the podcast, no, no, huh? uh, it's uh, it, it was it was Cal. Um, but but no, he he didn't call you today because uh, he called me. No, he didn't call me. He didn't call you? He was supposed to. Well, oh, who, he's who, calling me again. <laughs> this guy, hopefully. Dude, I'm doing the podcast. Okay. Oh, Fucking, you we, getting... don't have to, we don't have to involve that. We don't. It, we, nah, we, man, you got to cut me in. It's me and you, and okay. <laughs> he always you does got, that. I you got to cut me into this, man. You can't be doing right. stuff on the side. I'll talk later. I'm part of this. Uh, <clears throat> hey, what's uh, what's up, man? What's been going on with your this life? This is about... No, 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 no. no. Okay. This is about that track, huh? That uh, hot track that just dropped. Uh, yeah, yeah. That, that's, uh, that, that might be what this is about, but it's, uh, we got some side stuff going on. You know, stuff like that. Like what? Uh, I'd rather not discuss this live on the podcast, Dom. Let's be professional here. No, no. I, I know what it is. I saw the papers. Actually, I have one right now. I just... I opened this from the, the nah. Double D's P.O. box. No, nah, huh? that's... What is that? What, what What is that? It says Cal is trying to open uh? a new lasagna restaurant. Okay. Well, oh, yeah, that's that's what he was calling me about. You got me. <laughs> you got me. This is the worst bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even going anywhere. <laughs> ah, lasagna. <laughs> Well, that's at that point you you pretty much you didn't give us much to work with when you said lasagna. I, I don't understand. Yeah, I, did, I, did, I really did. I just I just cho- chose the rat. I don't, no, I, don't, no. I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But we we do we do want to thank uh, Mr. Calchichesta for for featuring uh, featuring myself on a track. And um, I, I'm not sure if that was you or if it was Jay Z. I, I couldn't really tell. Uh, yeah, I know, man. Yeah, it was, uh, I I was I was surprised myself. I was like, damn. Yeah, I'm Jay Z, Jay Z, Cosine Cal on yeah. that hot track. If you guys don't know what, what we're talking about, we'll post the post the link. Link in link, link, link in the description links. below, you assholes. How about you? How's your week been? Anything? Any cool, uh, anything cool happening? My my week my week's been good, man. It's a it's been a good week. Been 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 waking a lot, but now I have a little time to myself. 
I, uh, I, I had a conversation with Mr. Rob Ron earlier in, in this morning. Um, and, and, he, and he's telling me about this, this whiplash, you know, because Oscars came out and normally there's always a spike in the viewership of these movies, you know, when they're critically acclaimed, when they're yeah. nominated a lot. And I wanted to see Whiplash when I, when I saw it uh, uh, featured on the Oscars, when I saw those little clips that they do in the middle of everything. And I said, I'll, I'll get to it. I'll get to it. But then Rob Ron brought it to my attention. He said, dude, you, you got to watch this movie. So I said, OK, I'll watch this. And, and, and I'm just fresh off of it. Literally How about like, were you in the beginning? Do you, do you, do you <clears> trust my opinion? I you. trust. I, look, I trust your opinion. That's what uh, that's what rushed the order. You know what I'm saying? I was yeah, probably I to, yeah. I was probably going to get to it at some point. You see, you see, this is the thing with me. This is, and let me explain a little something about myself in terms of sharing content with friends. I know what you're. you're in case you haven't a, noticed, in case show, you haven't yeah. noticed this, I, I praise the content that my friends suggest to me because we speak <laughs> enough about content that they would know what I like. I'm always open to, 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 to watch and to listen to things that I like. So there's a certain amount of friends that if they say, hey, check this out, I'll check it out if I have the time. If I have nothing to do, I'll check it out right then and there because I'm, I'm inviting to it. Now, you constantly, constantly. I watched that Nick Offerman thing you sent ah, me. Bullshit, cool. bullshit. You didn't watch anything. I but did. Anyway, it was but anyway. Cute. I just I just want to tell you that I was going to watch the movie anyway and it's 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 an hour and like what 40 minutes and I watched it when you suggested it and I liked it I enjoyed it so so let that be a lesson to you Rob Ron Look I know that you 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 got uh, you don't know anything Um the podcast is over everybody hey, well, Whiplash is amazing you guys if if you have haven't watched it it's um what is the movie about? Is it about approval of your parents? It's about approval. I of think it is. It's about approval from people who, not who, sort of say you can't do something that you want to do. But it's also it's about achieving your dreams a little bit. I don't think it has anything to do with that. I think the movie has absolutely. It is. He has a dream. No. He has posters of these no. drummers on his no. wall. What do you call that? No. 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 What do you call the that? reason why I don't believe that it's coming from that place is because his idea, the young man in the movie, I've seen him in a few other films. I don't Miles know what, Teller, I believe his name is. That's, okay, Miles Teller. Uh, he's a young kid. He plays, the, you know, he's 19 to 20, around that age range in the movie. Um, and the reason why I don't think his idea of success is being one of the greatest of all times is because he sees his path contingent on his relationship with 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 Fletcher. Hmm. That's what will make or break his career. Fletcher at the you know at some point explains to him and and by the way, guys, the, the, the basic the, the basic relationship in this movie that you just need to be aware of is student and teacher. It's it's your typical student and teacher, um, you know, tough love, and you know how much can you take? Though in this movie, it's taken so fucking far. Yeah, it's taken so, and that and I think that's the question that the movie wants you to ponder: is how far is too far? How hard are you willing to go to achieve anything? So I don't think that it's about becoming one of the greats of all times. Uh, I believe a, a name that kept being mentioned was uh, uh, Bobby. Who's a, a classic drummer? Oh, uh, Bob, Bobby Hill from King of the Hill. <laughs> Man, I'll tell you what. I don't believe it was him, but it was some guy named Bobby. And I guess he's one of the I mean, whenever yeah, I've heard of drummers, I've always hear, heard of like Neil Peart. But but I guess that he's like from a rock band, so I guess maybe that doesn't count. It's all jazz guys, I guess. Yeah, it's a jazz, jazz yeah. film. So I don't think it's about that because everything was about getting the approval of his teacher, you know, because he never got approval from his dad. And I won't spoil the ending for you guys, but when, once you watch the movie, you'll get more of an idea of what I mean. The thing is, though, it... Fletcher also has a story. He's he's also a really interesting character because he wants something. And what if I asked you what the movie was about from his perspective? Okay. Take Miles Teller out of it. What is the movie about if if Fletcher is the main character? Which is, I mean, oh, the movie would have been really interesting if they, if they had done that, man. If he would have been the main character. Yeah. 
if he would have been the main character, I think the movie would have to be at least 45 minutes longer. Well, so they could just follow him at home and all that stuff. So they could follow him and sort of tell the story of why he became so jaded. Or not. Why would they have, like, they didn't tell the story in this thing. They didn't because it, 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 because because I don't think that the movie is about him. The movie is about his approval. So to the kid, he never really questions or researches or the movie never makes it quite clear. You what, know he's a you know he's awesome. Yeah. Okay. How, how would he get to be teaching in one of the greatest conservatories in the world if he wasn't great? See, but that's the thing. At that's the begin- proof. At the beginning of the movie, when you meet him, he tells the student, "Do you know who I am?" And he says, "Yes." But the viewer never gets a sense of who he is. You so it know, doesn't matter. Based on how he walks into the room, how he takes his coat off, and he's like, "Play, play the drums." Yeah. You know what he is. Yeah, but but had the movie been about him, you would have. At some point, he had to have come to a huge failure because someone like that doesn't, they don't decide to teach. They don't. Mm. They don't decide to teach. It's funny that he looked at uh, at the kid's father's life as a failure because yeah. he ended up teaching high school. But you're teaching, too. I mean, whether you want to consider, you know, the levels of, you know, where you're teaching or what certain schools are revered as the best schools. And that's up to you. What is he? What is he? He is mining. He's mining for the best. That's his job. At least he considers his job to be to get a thousand students. I'm I'm talking over a career, Mm -hmm. like a a, a 10,000 students or something. That's way too much. And find the one that's going to become Miles Davis. That's his goal. That's what the movie would be about if it was from his perspective. That's what you want to believe it would be about. The what movie, you... the movie isn't going to be about that. See, that's that's the image that he portrays, and that's what he projects. But the reality oh, of the situation—that's okay, okay. the, the what I'm saying—is that the reality of the situation is is that ah, he's failed okay, to some degree. Okay. If he would look at it from his own standards, from which he holds everyone else to, yeah, he failed at some degree. Right. You don't know what it is to but make you, him get to be that. that to that, make uh, him get to be yeah. the, to that point. That's Do you crazy. really think? That that's what he wanted to do was to just push and push people. If he would have been in another, it, I know that there's another position that he would have wanted to be in because of his personality. Oh, he like maybe he wanted to be the best, but he's just trying to like. Or maybe he's just a, a big fish in a small pond. Maybe he enjoys being that. But there would have been out, dude. There's, I mean. Of all these movies that we watch of people, and by the way, I saw the trailer to, not the trailer, I saw like a scene, and I don't really know how to feel about it, not sure if you saw it, uh, Marlon Wayans uh, portraying uh, Richard Pryor. Oh my God. Yeah, I it's saw- it. trailer? I saw, no, well, it's it's a couple scenes that I saw, oh my God. and I wasn't it's, really feeling it too much. 2015 is coming out? I don't know, but it looks like Marlon Wayans just, you know, on Halloween, just, he, he, he made a sketch. That's what it looks like. Oh man. So- um, of course, every time you watch somebody's uh, biographical auto is when they tell it themselves or yeah, I, I was yeah. OK, biographical story. What we what we hold on to the most is the failure of the person, because most of the people who watch that kind of feel like they are in a failing state or because, you know, it's like what they say. Failure is like always readily available. You know what I'm saying? If you would have gotten into his awesome life, whoever the fuck it is that he is, it's just going to be a lot of probably like, I don't know. I don't think it was like alcohol or anything like that. I think it's just, um, it's it's him being distant. You never heard about him having any children. Yeah, his children yeah. probably up and ran away. Yeah, yeah. Very start. distant lifestyle. And Then basic- again, you, you see this, like, do you notice the interaction between... Uh, Fletcher. I, I'm not even gonna say spoiler alert. You guys already fucking know we're spoiling this shit. Uh, not not to the fullest extent we can, but there's a there's a scene where Fletcher's in the hallway with um some guy he used to play play music with, and the dude has his daughter there. And the daughter's like seven years old, and he's he acts like just the the nicest guy, a nice regular guy. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He's not he's not an asshole to that kid. Like, why did they put that in there to show you? That he has a life outside of it. 
Yeah, or just that it's not him all the time. Like, he's not always like that. Mm -hmm. Do you think that was necessary for them to put that in there? I guess. I Oh, and you're right. And, and then Miles Teller is watching him as he's talking to this girl. Mm -hmm. and, and you can tell he's just sort of like... I mean, from your perspective, if we're operating from this this angle that he's, he just wants his approval, this reinforces it. Because he's looking at him through the crack in the door, and he sees him talking to this little girl, and he's like, man, I want that approval. I want him to talk to me like that. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. did, did you sort of get that out of it? Off of that scene? Yeah. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. I, I, didn't get, I didn't get all that from that scene. But, I mean, looking back now, now that you mention it, then, yeah, it does make a lot of sense. Because, yeah, I believe that it was 100% just for his approval. So, yeah, I don't believe it's about being the greatest drummer, or jazz musician of all time. I don't think that's that's what it was about. And this is why, uh, back when I used to research this this stupid pickup artist shit, that's why they always used to say things like, when you're talking to a girl, don't do that. Like the the the, the shitty thing that nice guys do is like they treat women without even knowing them. They give women, like, 100%, like, adoration, and they treat them like they're goddesses, like, like literally, like, something that just came off of a spaceship that you're supposed to worship. And mm -hmm. just, like, they're just buying them things and just giving them, giving them too much at once without knowing them. Because, I mean, in, in reality, it's like, when you do that to a person, it's like, think about anyone you, you idolize, and you're just giving everything to them. And they haven't earned any of it. It's like it devalues you, and the person is also probably like, like why are you why are you treating me this way? Like you don't even fucking, like you don't even know what I am. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Basically, the 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 parallel I'm drawing is like the less immediate approval you give people, it's sort of like the more your approval is worth in general, and this is kind of a I know this is kind of a controversial so sort thing. Sort of because you're like, saving it. Exactly. It's like, I, I, just, I, I don't just give it. this to everyone. Mm -hmm. You know, I just, I don't just go, go up to walk up to every girl in the bar and buy her and her friends all 20 drinks. Because the guy who isn't doing that means more to them inherently. Because he's holding this thing back. He has enough, like, he's, like, selective enough that wh whether or not the girls like him, he's like, I'm... I'm willing to withdraw this, hold this thing. So, I mean, like, Fletcher is, like, an ultimate... He's, he's like... You're right, though. He represents this thing that... He's not just going to give his approval to anyone. So, it, 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 it makes his value go up so high that if he really likes something you did, you know that it is, it is really good. Right. It's like if Gordon Ramsay comes to your restaurant and says... You think Gordon Ramsay just goes to every restaurant? He's like, oh, this is good, this is good, this is good, this is good. Like, you know he's kind of a dick. And he's going to tell you if your stuff is shit. So if he tells you your stuff is good, like, man, like, you, you really got it. I, th I think that first scene that they meet each other, I think that's the whole telling thing about the relationship and sort of the distance that makes Fletcher this unattainable thing. You know, at the beginning when he walks in on him and he's playing the drums and he tells him, why did you stop? Yeah. And he starts playing the drums and then he's like, I just asked you why you stopped. And you your answer to that was to, you know, to what did he say? To, to like like a monkey. You yeah, reacted yeah. like a monkey. And then he started asking him to do these, you know, these the little co swing. these commands and everything. And then in the middle of it, he just fucking walks out. Yeah, it's he's just, great. It's like, oh, I forgot my code. Yeah, I forgot my code. <laughs> It, he's like smiling at him like he's just so he he under i mean and you see this all the time in movies you know i would i would liken something like this to um and this is going to be a really bad reference but you know let's bring it back to a movie that i'm pretty sure a lot of our viewers have seen if any of you guys have seen um blood sport Oh man! I'm sorry. I'm time. sorry. Not Bloodsport. What was the other franchise that John Claude Van Damme had done? Universal uh, Soldier. No, the other one where he was uh, kickboxer. Kickboxer. There you go. Okay, yeah. kickboxer. His brother was paralyzed at the beginning, and 
uh, they took him. They took him to see this guy who was supposed to be like this great sensei. You have to kick the tree, man. And that's the scene that I'm referring kick, to. It's, kick the tree. It's the it's the tree kicking scene that it's exhibited in these kind of movies where it's like there's a thin line between like dedication and insanity. There's a thin yeah. line between it's it because bo- he's kicking both, the tree man. and kicking the tree and kicking the tree and just fucking, you want me to break my leg? <laughs> you, <laughs> that, that's basically. Huh? You want this? Huh? This? Right. Yeah. I, I said this in a video, a drawing video I did once, but I love, there's a look on the master's face where he sort of, he sort of looks like, damn, I didn't tell you to do that. <laughs> I just told you to kick the tree, dude. <laughs> Well, his intention was so he could break it open because you remember what he told him from motivation? He said, I, you want me to break my leg? And then the sensei looks at him and he says, your brother, remember? It's like, you piece of shit. <laughs> You're going to remind me that my Do brother was paralyzed. Brother? Yeah, that's, that's Your brother, we remember. Both fried rice, you remember. <laughs> what are you, a Haitian? <laughs> yeah, that was bad. <laughs> oh, my God. It's Haitian. All right, let, let's do – okay. Let, uh, get, uh, what what role do you want to play here? Do you want to play the drummer boy or, or teacher? Uh, let's, let's, let's for uh, those uh, who uh, haven't seen this movie. For those who haven't seen this movie, we want to do an accurate reenactment, and this is very accurate. Do not question our fucking judgment. This is an accurate interpretation of what happens twenty times in Whiplash. All right. So I'm, what do you? I'm, I'm I'm getting out my sticks. Okay. All right. Go Literally ahead. My, my my paintbrush sticks. All right. I'm ready. All right. Whiplash from the top. Stop. Not my tempo. Start it again. One, two, I said stop, stop. Uh, are you dragging or are you rushing? What are you doing? Uh, uh, All right, uh, forget it. One, two. Uh, uh, not, not my fucking... Uh. Uh, Just take your time, be patient, start over again. Uh, One, two, three. Uh, Twirly, fuck! Uh, uh, I am going to put my hands around your fucking neck and I'm going to deplete your body of oxygen if you don't play this correctly. One more time from the top. One, two, three. <laughs> Motherfucker! <laughs> Daddy didn't love me. All right, kid, I'm sorry. I apologize. So that's, that's what happens in the movie, guys. There you go. There's a lot of slapping, though. That, that, that scene yeah. Yeah. where you smack. You just don't expect it to happen. Yeah. Ah, I totally forgot to slap you. I should have. I should have. Yeah. Ta- ta- I should have tapped you a couple times, but all right, all right. Ain't nobody slapping me, bro. I'm not a violent Ain't nobody man. slapping me, bro. If I was in there, if I was in there, I would have showed him. You know what I'm saying? You know, if, I was, if that was me, you know that guy? If, if that was me. Of course. Of course. Oh, I have a new character, by the way. A new character for the show? I've, I Just in general. Okay. This this is a good I I, I just thought of this. I, I um. Uh, I went to see like a movie with my brother, and then I saw another movie with him, and I just, I just got this idea of this guy. So, um, ask me how I felt about some uh, name a random Oscar movie, like uh, Still Alice, for instance. So, Dominic, how did you feel about Birdman? <laughs> Fucking Birdman, Birdman. <laughs> if, if 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 I was trying to see a nigga walk around fucking bird outfit, I'll go down to Southeast DC. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna pay no fifteen dollars to go watch that shit, man. I know a bunch of crazy ass dudes. I ain't even watching well, fifteen dollars watching on Birdman. So, 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 what's what, what's at the core of this character? What, what is he always he, exhibiting? He w- refuses to consume any art, film, or music <laughs> because he thinks that either he can do it or he knows someone who could do it better, and that people, everyone, is just getting paid to do shit that a- anyone else can do. He's the guy who just. He works down at some docks, or he works for the metro, and he's just, he just thinks that he can do everything. Right. All right? Okay. Okay. So, okay, guy. So, so what do you feel between the, the relationship of the characters in Whiplash? Uh, did you feel it was about approval? Did you feel it was about, like, becoming great? What, what did you feel? Fuck, Whiplash? The movie with the dudes are banging sticks? Yeah. Now, uh-huh. I go down the DuPont Circle on Saturdays. Uh-huh. I see these dudes banging on sticks. That shit is three times better at Whiplash. And that shit's free, son. Uh, Why am I gonna pay hey, twenty dollars? Uh, uh, in the middle of that whole, uh, can you uh, refill my Pepsi because uh, I'm a little, oh, a little okay, low. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go. Here you go. Here you okay, go. all right. Thank you. Uh, all right, now get away. Like, like that movie's still Alice. Why am I gonna pay nineteen dollars? Watch some bitch lose a memory or some shit. If I want to see some bitch lose a memory, 
I go talk to my grandma down the old home. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, 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 you feel me? <laughs> you want to feel? You feel me? Which Theory of everything. Guys? Which, Theory which, of everything. Some dude drooling in a wheelchair or some shit. I see that shit on the corner every day. You see? You, you feel me? I pay no twenty dollars. You know, I feel, I feel that there's always a connection to a guy like that because I always feel like he lives within the same universe as my old barber, and he lives with, he also lives within the same universe as the the detailed the detailed directions guy. So this is a conversation oh, between yeah. the detailed directions <laughs> guy. Okay, so yeah. it, it, so we're both. We're, we're both like uh, uh, blue collar guys and we're talking yeah. in the break room because we both work for the Metro and all right, let it rip. Yo, my nigga, like they just gave the Oscars, you know, y- yesterday and, and I knew that the Oscars uh, Oscar. were on. Uh, yo, yo, I, I, I know Oscar. You know what I'm saying? I, I, know, I know Oscar. I don't need to go oh. wa- watch some fucking Oscars on ABC. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. But you know, but I heard that Neil Patrick Harris was, was hosting and, and, and when I saw him on a stage, I noticed that he was hosting because then my girlfriend, she had said, yeah, he's going to be hosting. And I thought, wait a minute, but isn't he filming uh, the, the, the new season of How I Met Your Mother? But then my cousin. Wait, wait, me, oh, 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 yeah, How, yeah, how yeah. I Met Your Mother? How, yo, I, yo yeah. I, I, I'll, I'll tell you yeah. how I met your mother. You know, I saw her last week at the Safeway. Oh. You feel me? You feel me? You feel me? You know, at the beginning. You feel me? You feel me? When you had first started to say that, I thought you were actually going to give me some proper information. But then I noticed that you were insulting me and now i i want to deject myself from this conversation because this is negative you feel me well, no, I, no 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 when, when i was negative. on my way on you, here you, to you, work you're a negative morning. is a negative is when in, in, in math when you when you multiply one of them things times another one of them things I, you know what i'm saying that, that, that's only negative I, in my life you know what i'm saying i i, I understand that but uh, now that i'm in the break room right now and and i'm having my coffee I'm having my coffee with two sugars because when I went to the Starbucks this morning, I told him to give me three sugars. And oh, he gave oh, me two. oh, oh, you, well, you went, you went to Starbucks. I, I went you to paid, the Starbucks. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 You paid, you paid uh-huh. four fifty. All right, four fifty for some some coffee. All right, some. Co- I'll, I'll tell I'll tell you what coffee is. All right, uh-huh. you take you take some raisinets. All right, you boil them, motherfuckers. You put them in a cup in the morning. Oh. That's what we used to do. All right. See, you paid no you're, fucking four fifty. You're referring to the Starbucks on Harrison. I'm referring to the Starbucks on Wilkerson. When you make the right to to, to left, it's adjacent from the McDonald's and it's diagonally across uh, the street from the Petland Discount. That's oh, the one okay. that I'm referring to. And they charge you two fifty for the coffee. Oh, and okay. The one on Harrison charges you three. I think it's three fifty. <laughs> uh, 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 three eighty. Uh, uh, my cousin had told me the other day that he got charged four dollars, which was ridiculous. So I said, Oh, I'm yeah. not going down that one anymore. I'm going to the one on, on Wilkerson because they charge you. Less and and it, yeah, <laughs> a conversation that never ends. Oh my, Wilkinson! No, 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 Wilkinson! Wilkinson! When you take the left down Harris I, no, Street, no, no, no. I I grew up on Wilkinson. I, I know, I know Wilkinson. You, 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 you're not right. Wilkinson is not there. It's, it's the wrong way. The street just doesn't exist. The super confrontational guy <laughs> versus over explaining guy. <laughs> over explaining guy. Oh if he was a, if he, if he was a Pokemon, it'd be over explaining Mon. He just over explains the fuck out of everything. Uh, actually, uh, that's that's more of a Digimon. Pokemon don't uh, don't uh, uh, usually end in. He just fucking out dorked me. All right, Mister Mister Hip Hop Rippage over here, as I like to call it. Hip Hop RPG, yeah. <laughs> man. If I want to play an RPG, I'm going to my Super Nintendo out. You feel mm-hmm. me? You feel me? No, no. Actually, you know, RPG was you know what RPG was me growing up. What I get a you? stick. All right. Uh-huh. I see another nigga with a stick, all right? Mm-hmm. I got plus one stick because my stick bigger. I beat his ass, all right? Okay. That's all I had mm-hmm. when I was growing up, all right? That's very impressive. That's very impressive. That's all I had. <laughs> Hip Hop RPG 4, okay? Yes, episode 4 just came out. It dropped. It dropped. It dropped. It, it did really well, man. Um, okay. uh, Hip Hop Heads loved it on Reddit. It, it got top posted, and it was there for like two days, which is pretty awesome. There's a train. The train, the okay. train in the background. The train is agreeing with me. When you hear um, a, a train in a podcast, that means somebody's full of shit. And every time Rob Ron talks, the train's in the background. But go ahead. <laughs> mm-hmm. But uh, it did well on Kanye Tiva as well. They liked it a lot. A lot of love. A lot of, a lot of nice likes and everything. Overwhelmingly positive comments, man. I, uh, a lot of people say this is their, their favorite episode. It, it's kind of mine, too. Um, I liked it, man. Excellent. Excellent. I think it did well. So, so from this point on, there will be about six of them left. Whoa, whoa. Four? No, man, more, more. 
more. More than that. Okay. Um, we're talking like 10 more if I'm being generous. If I, if I really – the problem is this. It's like how much of the story do I want to tell? How, how deep and complete can I make this world in 10 episodes or less? I, what I want to do, I really want to get it and out in like eight more episodes, six or eight. Because then that, that'll give me like. But I just said six and you said no. No, I'm saying what I want to do is that I have like, I have 12 more episodes written out. Okay. But that's too much. Um, so right now, I mean, I don't know. We're just going to, shit's going to, the, the next two or three episodes are really going to sort of outline where it's headed so after those three episodes are out by episode seven you're gonna know where i'm heading with this uh because right now it's kind of ambiguous so um yeah after that i mean i I just wanted this thing to be complete you know mostly i just want to be able to to have however many episodes it takes 12 or whatever just to be able to say it's this is done you can watch all of these things it's done. There's no more. Unless you want to look at like some digs bot, uh, you know, extra animation stuff, like some Easter eggs. Like this thing is finished. That's my goal: is to tell a full story. Like how efficiently can I do that? I don't want to take out anything that doesn't need to. I don't want to take out shit that needs to be in there, and I don't want to add too much shit that doesn't need to be in there. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't know, man. Well, as far as the reaction that you're getting, are, are you finding that? Having most of the cast on an episode makes it more interesting for a variety. Be- because I think I-, I think I had mentioned that to you at one point that yeah. it's what what we're watching here is we're watching it's being watched by a collaboration of fans. And might it be the case that a person who is funny enough a Macklemore fan? Has no interest in it because Macklemore's not in it. But let's say, okay, let's say fanboy because a fan a fanboy would only be no. That's that's what I mean. I mean, if he wasn't in it, if he oh, wasn't in it, does yeah, that fan yeah, yeah. not have a stake in the situation? So then, I guess, if, could you make the case that having Macklemore, having Kanye, having Drake, having Tyler, um, uh, having Gambino in there, does that make the viewership bigger because more people have a stake in it? Absolutely, man. I, I think so. I think people are coming out. Um, I mean, just for instance, like I can post this thing into the Donald Glover subreddit, which I did, and it did pretty well on there. And uh, I wouldn't have had that opportunity if he wasn't in it. You know what I mean? Like, I, I maybe could have posted it on there, but they would have been like, "What? The, what does this have to do with Gambino?" Mm-hmm. So, I think that plays. I think that plays a factor, but I mean, just just in general, like. Just the fact that this exists, like, if you like any hip-hop stuff and if you like video games at all, I think just the existence of, like, anyone in this universe is is going to be enough. But I know I did notice that it's, like, people want their guy in there. It's, like, I see a lot of shit, like, oh, put Kid Cudi in there as a wizard. Put, um, <laughs> just that phrase, put Kid Cudi in there as a wizard. You know I don't I mean? want him to be in the Narby Jeden. I don't want to be in it. Spells, spell guest, bun guest, <laughs> arm guest, on guest, arm arm cast, cast my arm. Whatever. Uh, okay, I got you. Um, but yeah, uh, people are saying like this. Some dude emailed me and he's like, "I love that you put MF Doom in." It. He wrote like two paragraphs. He's like, "I love that you put MF Doom in there, but I wanted to know why you made him evil or on the side of the Illuminati or whatever." Really? Is it because yeah, he seemed actually a little concerned. Mm-hmm. I responded to them. I was like, "Dude, he's always talking about being a villain. Like, why would I put him right? Why would he be on the good side? Yeah, it's all in good nature. Yeah, right. I mean, ultimately, what I said to him though is like, being a villain is like not necessarily having one side or the other. Like, he's, I interpret him in this story. He's gonna be sort of like, I go where I need to. If I need to fuck up Kendrick and his crew, I'm gonna do that to 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 better myself." To ensure my survival, if I need to fuck up the Illuminati, I'll fuck them up too. Mm-hmm. He's that that kind of dude. Who's your favorite character so far? I'm gonna ask you who you think it is, and then I'll tell you who I think it is. Yeah, 
I would pro. Uh, I think your favorite character would be. I think it's Gambino. I think your favorite character is Gambino because Gambino's personality <laughs> he hates himself. seems to <laughs> seems to fit yours more. I mean, that is, of course, assuming that, you know, you would be more likely to connect to somebody who's more similar to you. Or maybe if you're willing right. to connect to somebody who is, you know, different in contrast from you, maybe you'd appreciate that more. Uh, but I would probably have to say Gambino or 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 I'm forgetting. I'm forgetting the 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 wildliness of Tyler, maybe yeah, you'd appreciate that a lot, and the f- fucking fact that he he turned into a fucking cockroach, but yeah, you maybe you like how uh, or maybe I like how fucking impulsive he is. I honestly, it's like it's between him, uh, it's between Gambino, Kanye, and Tyler. Those three are the most fun to write. Like I feel like the other guys are straight men. Like Macklemore, Drake, and and Kendrick are people who are gonna like. You'll notice they're they're very neutral. Like Kendrick's not. He's he's not really a crazy dude. He's a very private dude in real life. I have I don't have much to pull from with him. Do you know what I mean? That's sort of what like the the protagonist is a lot of the time, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, I mean, that, that's yeah, what the White very, Knight very is true. like. That's what the White Knight is always like. Very true. And I, I remember you told me at some point that, like, I should make Kendrick the main character. And he he is, but he also isn't. Like, I took that advice, but I also kind of went against it because there's a, there's a storytelling trope that I like a lot, which is take seven people, spread them out, spread, like, it's take seven people in one universe, spread them out on the planet, and then bounce from one to the other. Each chapter is you bouncing from one to the other one. And eventually they'll intersect. Mm-hmm. But for, for the most part, you're going from one perspective to the other. Game of Thrones utilizes this. Wheel of Time use, utilizes this. If you guys um, are familiar with Robert Jordan. I don't know what Wheel of Time is. If any of you know what I'm talking about, Wheel of Time, say something right now. Because I'd be interested in if... I'm guessing at least two of you know. Uh, it's, a, it's a big fantasy epic. It's like bigger than... Game of Thrones. Like, if you thought Game of Thrones is intricate, Wheel of Time it took, like, 25, 30 years to write or something. Mm. And it has, like, 11 books in it. And it's it's super, super detailed. But, um, yeah, that's what I wanted to do is just keep bouncing. I'm going to keep bouncing back from perspectives. But, uh, yeah, it's great. Like, some of my characters are, like, f- I, I really like writing for some of them. And it comes really easily to me. And some of them are kind of, like, a little more boring to me. But, um... Yeah, I'd say, I'd say anytime Tyler comes up, it's fun for me because I'd make it like he's writing in all caps, he's misspelling shit, he like doesn't punctuate correctly. Um, he's he's like sound like easiest... my text messages. Yeah, pretty... no, no, I, I think you. <laughs> no, I don't. I do not punctuate. I don't try to. I just I type things and then I go dot 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 dot. No dot 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 dot. Suck my dick. Dot dot dot. That's what I do. Kill yourself. Well, who's your? I mean, so you you like Tyler the best? I would probably have to say I would probably have to say Tyler for that reason. I'd probably say he's kind of nuts. because you know it's it's I I think I what, what I believe, Mister Rob Ron, is that you should kill one of these people. I know you said that. I don't want what, to. What, one I of these people don't. should die. One of these people should die. Uh, you Why, know, I, that ups the stakes. You, you, you think it would make it like. It, it would it would prove that the Illuminati like aren't to be fucked with. Is no, because because I think that it proves that this is indeed your universe, and you get to pick and choose who comes and who goes, and not just people that no one cares for, like Young Thug. You uh, know, yeah, yeah, not yeah, to because yeah. that's too easy. You're getting off too easy. I, I think know somebody young should be thug, murdered. Like, who people Wade care about? Easy. Like I, from, yeah. I thought about this, dude. Now this is like some high level, like George R. R. Martin shit. I was walking on the metro yesterday, and I was like, "All right, I'm about to get into some serious shit." I have always admired writers who can kill their characters off, but not just any characters, like the the ones you like, the ones you really like. And I was just thinking to myself, like, I want, I've always wanted to see the movie where it's like, <sighs> fucking Fassbender, Idris Elba, and and I, I don't know who the fuck else. Uh, so, some some Zoe Saldana. Some Channing movie. Tatum. 
I'm just saying it's like a good cast of actors. Don't put Channing Tatum in there. A good cast of actors, and they're in this drama where you just expect them all to live, and they just die. All of them 30 minutes in, and they just get demolished, and they don't come back, and it just credits roll, and you didn't expect it. And I've always, I'm like, what if I was the guy to just do that? Like, if episode six, they're in a battle, and they all just die. They all just get, like, Illuminatus comes down, and he's like, this is too much. You guys think I'm just going to let you go around and then kill me eventually? Mm-hmm. I'm not going to let this happen. And I'm not even, furthermore, I'm not even going to talk anymore about this. And he just wipes them all out and it's game over. That's it. I think what's even worse than that is somebody dying shamefully and then... What, what, so, okay, correction. Somebody doing something deceitful and dishonorable and then dying. Like if you find out a character... Uh, betrays, you know, you know, one of the good guys. If he just turns, you know, say he's uh, the, the this guy from the Matrix. What's his name? Uh, uh, the, the, the mousy John Leguizamo ish guy. Uh, whoever the fuck it is, ignorance is bliss. The guy yeah, with, yeah, with the steak. You know, if you find out he does something dishonorable and then gets killed, that's like a double whammy. It's like he doesn't even get to rectify what he did. You know, he doesn't even get to fix it. I think that's much worse than killing a good guy is when you find out that just before they die, they're actually not a good guy. But you don't get to find out. How is that worse? Well, listen, listen, because you don't listen, but you don't get to find out whether they're a, a bad person or was it something circumstantial? Because when you watch Breaking Bad, you find out that a bad person isn't necessarily a bad person at heart. It, it's something circumstantial. Your circumstances change. It could be for whatever oh, yeah. reason. You don't. It's not necessarily a black and white thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So when a character dies right before, you don't even get to find out what was in their head, why they did it. You, you know what I'm saying? It's just they're dead. They're dead, and there's no there's no explanation afterwards. There's nothing. I mean, that is if people believe that it, it is sort of a, a gray area to uh, you know to bad things being done. Most people mm-hmm. just believe it's just oh you're either bad or you're good, and there is n- nothing circumstantial that can change anything. You just are the way you are, which I beg to differ. I beg to differ. I think situations yeah, change people. In a, everyone's in a gray. Everyone's in the gray. The situations change people, and and you'd be you'd be surprised to know if you were in a certain position, you know, if you had to like eat shit, you know what I'm saying? Y- you might eat shit if the circumstances uh, called for it. If I was you gonna know? get a PlayStation for it, what was that? If I was gonna get a PlayStation for it, Ooh, Final Fantasy in it, yeah, in it, yes, yes, and and, and stop I, being... what was that? No, no, go good. Uh, was that Eddie? No, I, I don't know. That was <laughs> it. Wasn't Eddie? It just came out. <laughs> Oh, who let Eddie in the room? <laughs> yeah, man. So yeah, but I mean, I, so you think I should kill a guy? I think you should kill a guy. I think you should fucking kill a guy. You should kill a guy that everyone loves. But before uh, you kill the guy, Jake. the guy's got to do something shitty. He's got to do something shitty that makes all his fucking fanboys say, "Fuck you for thinking that he's capable of doing something <laughs> like that." Yeah, they would be really. You gotta I make mean, people if, hate you. Some guys are saying that Gambino seems suspect. They're like, he's he's kind of weird. Like, why is he? People are thinking that he's kind of a, he's kind of a sellout or something. That he's a sellout, really? Yeah, yeah. They're they're, they're, they're thinking that he's uh he's gonna do something to the group. Why is why is Gambino's uh stance always like kneel on one knee? Is is he like uh, you know like Gandhi? Is he like the fucking Dalai Lama or something like? No, he's just sitting down because he's lazy. He doesn't okay. feel like standing up. Okay. Yeah, he's okay, just chilling. Okay. I thought it was sort of just uh, well, you know, mentally, I don't think it really matters. So like physically, I'm just gonna have one foot out the door and just put one knee on the floor and just kind of. Eh. It, it is kind of that too. He's also another funny guy to write because it's like I could just say the darkest shit and it just seems funny in that context. Mm-hmm. Like, like why are we like why are we bothering doing any of this shit again? Why are we trying to fight him? Like, what happens if we win? Mm-hmm. We're just gonna die, right? Right. right. And Kendrick's like, Ugh. so um, next episode we're gonna get um, episode five. Uh, should I should I? Sp- I'm not gonna spoil it. We're ah, gonna get. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna get maybe an introduction of two new rappers. Okay. And I'm 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 going to try and at least put one cameo in each one. I got to do something cuz people are going to people are going to hate it if I'm not like throwing in like a young thug every once in a while. It's not going to be young thug. But I did consider I did consider like having like every two videos or so 
have like young thug in the back like scavenging and he just comes out and he's always getting like beat up by stuff <laughs> like shit will just so fall you're on him. you're a uh, you're appeasing a certain person i kind of have you are you're you're, you're appeasing a certain person you're 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 appeasing a, a hip-hop nerd basically yeah, well i, I mean I, I just don't want the, yeah i don't want young thug in the I, I want him to be the guy who's trying to find beans that's what i want okay. him to be well, I guess that's to be realistic about the situation. Somebody who listens to Young Thug wouldn't exactly like your video. They, they might. They yeah, wouldn't. You're, you're right. So I guess maybe it, it. I guess it applies. I guess it applies. But uh, regardless, guys, I will put a link, or maybe I'll consider putting a link, depending on uh, uh, how good uh, a hand ski Rob Ron gives me. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below of the Hip Hop RPG Four, which was out a week ago. If you haven't seen About it, a week ago, week ago. Bobby Schmurda is watching it from prison right now. <laughs> Maybe you could throw him in there. Huh? It, it, b- behind, oh, that'd be God, a summons. Be so fucking the money funny. dance would be a summons. Good, it, like it would be a lit. Like it, this is such a good idea that I, I, I almost feel like shitty saying it because I just want to put it in there. But like they just, they walk past like they're inside the mind worm or something, and they just see like. Uh, a cell where he some guys like locked in there and it turns out to be Bobby Shmurda. They like they don't let him out. They just they just keep walking past them. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? He's like, yo, let me out, please. I got in here about a week I ago. I thought he got out. He did? I, I thought he got out on bail, I think. I still want to put him in the prison. He got he got put back in there. I can follow he's, any he's, of that crap. He's, he's in there on a gun charge. He got put inside of a worm. Yeah, by by the time you you uh, come out with it, it'll probably just the story. You'll just no one will care about, care about it. So it's so that's, current. That's one thing I'm con- concerned about too, though, <laughs> is like how how much these guys change. Like Kendrick, right now he's good kid, Mad City Kendrick. That's gonna change once this album drops. It is. And he's gonna be the blacker the berry. I whatever this new album is called, and I'm going to have to change it based on that. Got to change Which, his. Uh, um, did you change his, his hairstyle? Uh, I didn't, but I, I'm going to. I'm going to. This next video, it's going to... Oh, I just revealed some shit. I mean, whenever he comes up again, it's going to be super nappy. It's going to be like... I, I, w- I want to start changing these characters based on what they're doing in real life. So, like, you know, Kanye's outfits are going to change. Obviously, he has the Yeezy boosts on right now. Drake, I, I think I want to change him out of this white outfit. Um, I don't know. Someone had a really good idea though, which I'm I'm gonna use this. One of Drake's limits, one of his uh, special moves could be called worst behavior, where he just turns into a black mage instead, like temporarily. Yeah. What you don't like it? Yeah, uh, the worst. I don't, I don't know. I just f- feel like those things are too pandering. You think so? Yeah. I mean, uh, if you make it a move, that's fine. Uh, if you, you make like it a move, it? that's fine. But uh, I, I don't know. Get it. Get it is worst behavior. Uh, <laughs> all right, all right, yeah, no, no, no. You're gonna make him say worse, <laughs> and then he's gonna turn into I don't know. Oh, you know what I thought? I one thing I I wanted to do was to make it like oh this is this one is so corny, but I wanted to do it like when when Drake immediately jumps down and he starts running over to Tyler, I wanted to make it so like there was a six. There was a random six that was there, and he just runs through it, and it just it, <laughs> like, a random know. six. What do you mean? Just a six, oh, a literal oh, a six. six, a number. Of, okay, and then he just runs through it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would have been so fucking corny. Or maybe he's looking through the six, and it could be the view from. Oh the six. my god, <laughs> he's looking through the through the hole in the six. Oh, like, why did you tell me that? I would have put that in the last video. No, he's looking. Why? Th- Cause it's funny, dude. So, it, it, so you're, you're looking through. So you're six. looking to lampoon one of these guys. A little bit. Everyone gets a little. Everyone, everyone gets a little jab. In. So is it lampooning uh, Kanye when he says "Don't marginalize him"? Of course. Or, yeah. So you're making fun of him. You feel? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I just think it's it's just a it's just a callback to to some stupid shit that he did. I don't really think it's it's lampooning him. I mean, don't marginalize him. Oh, it's a Nike. <laughs> Fozzie Bear. That- oh, it's a Nike. <laughs> hey, dude, have you uh, have you caught on to all this uh, this shit online? That uh, I noticed. Um, you know, today is Friday. I noticed this stuff yesterday on Thursday. All this stuff with the blue dress. Unfortunately, 
Yeah, what the fuck is all this about? So, so a girl posted, a, if you guys aren't familiar with this, and I'm pretty sure you should be familiar with it uh, right now, because, I mean, you, you guys are more, um, you know, you're, you're spiders on the web more than we are. You, you know every fucking, uh, every fucking thing I that's mean, going on. Th- this thing, the, the speed with which this thing came out is just, it, it surprises me and it also doesn't, because we're on the internet and just things travel just as fast as, I mean, as information can get out, pretty much. But this thing is, I mean, I see a picture on Twitter of a, of a dress that is blue and, and black or something, and everyone is like, what color is this? And apparently some people see it as white and gold or something. I th- And this was strange because, and, and now everyone's talking about it, retweeting it, at, trying to weigh in their dumb opinion about what color it is. But, uh... This is interesting because it came out at the same at the same day as like there was like a llama escape in in, uh, in in the UK. So like that thing, that thing came out and that thing was trending. People talking about all oh, the black llama versus the white llama, and then the dress thing came out later on in the day. So it was like a chain. Mm-hmm. It was like it was multiplied. I feel. So l- let's get to the meat and potatoes. What colors to dress? I'm not, I, 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 I'm not answering. I just said it was blue and black. You said it was, okay, you said it was blue and black. When someone showed me the picture, I saw the blue and black picture. I don't know whether it was the flash that changed the color of the thing. I'm looking at a few articles here, and the first thing that comes up says, the science of why no one agrees on the color of the dress. Yeah. And, you know, this person goes through uh, a few color charts or whatever the fuck it is. I'm not going to look into the science of all that shit. But um, I see the top comment on this this little blog post and it says well whichever company makes the dress is going to make both versions now regardless so i mean i mean yeah. that's pretty much the reality of it i saw black and blue when um uh, miss respect asked me what color it was and i thought i was being so eloquent i when she said what color is this i said midnight blue and gray you honestly when i um i see midnight blue. i was also asked by a female okay like what color is that? <laughs> I said, <laughs> and, I, and I was. <laughs> oh my god, oh, oh, what oh, oh, color oh, 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 is oh, oh, this dress? And what color is it, Dom? I was like, shh, 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 shut up. No, but um, I said blue and charcoal. That's what I said. It looked like a like a like a light. I don't know what charcoal is. It just sounds like that's a nice way of saying gray. Okay. Yeah, blue and gray. What, what did Miss Respect say? Uh, well, she didn't tell me what she thought the color was. She just. She was a person who told me that this is. I hope like she a, rolled her eyes at you and said, "I'm uh, leaving you." Yeah. <laughs> she, takes that, <laughs> she takes that time to just <laughs> break it to you, like, "Ugh, you just look at you." You yeah. sitting there, oh, I think it's gray, a grayish tint. That's when she broke it to me that this was like a thing online, and I couldn't believe it. And then I saw like a posting on World Star, and somebody talked about it, and you know, uh, you know, I'm sure, I'm pretty sure this is probably gone away now. You know, Saturday yeah. afternoon. But um, no, I, I think I think it's gonna. Look, here's here's the tr- here's how the trajectory of these things. Here, right? Here's what's happening now. Here's Stop here. it. Listen. Okay. All right. Here's what's happening, right? You get you got the internet, all right? Uh, generation of the idea, okay? Spread of the idea, just general spread of the idea, and then parodies of the idea. People going completely against the idea. People saying they don't care about the idea. All these things happening. People trying to sort of differentiate themselves by saying that their view of the idea is completely... It's like, oh, it's not about the dress. Look at... Did, but did you see uh, what the chick was wearing in the background? Look at that. It's like... It's a gold rush for content right now. It's mining. You get a diamond in front of you and you're just sitting there hitting it. Trying to and looking at it from different angles to see if you can mine upvotes or or retweets or whatever you can from it. It's do you, you see what I'm getting at? I see where you're getting at. We're in that phase right now. It, this is the stock market, all right. Right now, there is an internet stock market. Right now, buying you're buying llamas, you're buying Kanye crying you, on on Zane Low interview, and you're buying high on on um. The, the blue and gold dress it's hot right now but very soon it's going to be really you're going to have to sell everything and get the fuck out of there because once good morning america gets wind of this shit it's not funny anymore 
that you should have sold before yes, that point. You should have sold. So, so the other thing. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Did I lose it? Did you I lost it? it. Fuck. You lost it. I lost it. And that's the Double D's podcast. Bye, everybody. <laughs> 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 it was some kid somewhere. He's washing dishes. He's from fucking Indiana. And uh, he got really close to his monitor as <laughs> your speech was intensifying. Uh, yeah. And he was like, yeah, what yeah, else? I agree, uh, I agree, and I lost it. You got the cover something? Right. <laughs> and now the kid's applying the belt around his neck, and he's hooking it onto the pole in his closet, and he's going to kill himself. Oh, Thanks cool. a lot, Dom. That's cool. Uh, oh, Judah just hung himself. Oh, there No, I got it. I got it. I okay. fucking got all it. All right, all right. I got it. Um, it's going to get shitty when yeah. Geico makes yeah. a commercial about it. Yeah. No, that's not listen, gonna... listen, dude. This is the next step. Okay. This is the next step. Them making like it's not about you hating the commercial. It's about them making it because you know what happens? It gets retweeted. It gets shared. Can you believe that Geico was so quick that they made a video of the gecko wearing the blue and gray dress? Mm. Can you believe that McDonald's did a commercial or T Mobile did a commercial where it's like, uh, it's just a dress, but you know what's you know what there's, else is cool? There's no that, way that that can happen because you you'd have to have the, to have the rights to be able to use that picture. The rights from what? It's just a dress. It's just a blue and gray dress. It could be a red and green dress. It, it's and it's a dress, saying, but you have to find out who is the the original. You know they don't own they, them any. They don't own them anything. It could be blue, dude, blue and gray pants. Dude, I don't know it. much about law. I don't know anything about law, but I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of fucking. Uh, there's a lot of legal really? nightmares. It's just a dress. What do you mean? It's just a dress. It's, That's li- it's all it is. Okay, but you're forgetting something. There, the, okay, there is the idea. No, no, no. I'm thinking of someone using the actual picture. You, you mean just somebody wearing the dress? Yeah, I mean some like a Wendy's commercial where they say, "What okay. color is that dress?" I don't know, but this bacon b- barista sandwich is great. Okay, okay. like that. Okay. What color is this dress? That that concept, because you know what they're you know what they're calling back to. But I'm saying you can monetize this attention. That's the next step is for them to take this shit and make us hate it because they're using it to get us to pay attention to them and retweet it, man. Well, there's no way that Geico would do that because, first of all, before they put out the commercial, I mean, unless they fast-tracked all their the uh, all their study groups that have to rate the commercial oh, and yeah, see how yeah. the relatability of it and does it work, are you getting the, 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 does the, does the branding of the product come through in the commercial, all that testing that they do to put out these stupid fucking commercials. You're right. It would take, it's going to be like July. By right. They'd have to fast-track all this bullshit and then, like, yeah, right, you'll see it in July. It's be like, oh, the dress that nobody remembers anymore. What I'm arguing is, like, you can do a Left Shark Geico commercial right now. It, it'll, it'll, it'll get some tweets. It's a little too late, but, like, Left Shark hanging out with, with the lizard – the Super That's Bowl the, left shark. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That sort of shit. For them to take the memes and use them against us. All they see is dollars. Mm-hmm. Dude. They're going to monetize this shit. So is there going to be... Are these corporations going to have like these these sub-internet divisions where it's yes. just like, just yes. go. Just Absolutely. make like, everything. Do it. The go. Word. Just do Buy it. it. We'll deal with the legal issues later. Use that. We have momentum. Use that shit now. Mm-hmm. Because you know what this is happening what's happening right now is like there's this this um sort of underground thing in Reddit. It's sort of a conspiracy, but I sort of believe it, where it's like Okay, do you know what Gone Wild is on Reddit? No. Gone Wild is a subreddit where girls, like amateur girls, just post pictures of themselves, like like naked pictures of their asses mm-hmm. or whatever or something oh, like okay, that. Okay, okay, and, okay. Um, okay, 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 okay. It's interesting though, it's all white girls because I mean I guess it's like uh, white males is like what, what it is on Reddit. So it's like like a black girl will just not even get to the front page. It's the, weird. The dominant white girls comment section. Hit it up. Um but <laughs> you did derailed me. Mm. But Archer the the show Archer on FX. Right. They made in in their animated style. They they made they drew the characters taking pictures of themselves in the shower, coming out like coming out of the laundry or whatever, like naked, like almost naked. And then they they used the correct syntax, all of that stuff, to put it on Gone Wild, and it got voted very highly. Mm-hmm. So it's like they knew the pa- platform and they were using the platform to push their product. Now that was obvious the way they did it, but like 
there are there are theories, and I think this is true, that there are companies like Jack Daniels that are going in and they're saying, "Oh, my cat was drunk." To Reddit loves pets and stupid shit like that, so they're like they would do something like, "My cat was drunk today," and they'll post a picture of a cat that looks like it's tired or just knocked out. And they'll put a bottle of Jack right next to it, and they won't even mention the Jack, but that's advertising. Mm. You see what I'm getting at? That's product placement. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, they're figuring out how to use this shit. Because that's what they do. They, As Bill Hicks said, they ruin everything. So, eh. mm-hmm. Right. Oh, no, Bill. You're going for that counterculture dollar. Right. The, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. The counterculture dollar. Yeah, the Bill Hicks would, like, take a knife and put it in, in Gary Vaynerchuk's neck. If he could. He, oh, by yeah, the way, yeah, by yeah. the way, I mean, when I think that I'm in a different space, I mean, I, I really think that I'm like going to own the Jets one day because, I mean, you just got to get up and get it. I love the hunt. I love the. Uh, okay. <laughs> I love just doing it. You got to get out there and sell. All right. What's your ROI? What's the ROI of your mother? You, you know what I'm saying? I think I, I think if enough of our viewers knew who Gary Vaynerchuk was, I just whipped your ass. I just I just fucking kicked uh, your you, ass you, you, because you there are there are there are remnants of Nardwar in your Gary Vaynerchuk. While mine is a hundred percent Gary Vaynerchuk. I mean, let's really talk about this. Uh, uh, social uh, the way it's going on is <laughs> never going to happen again. Because I'm a fucking asshole. You know what I love about him is he just like almost like Aspergers. He he's like he's look he's like cuss cussing during TED talks, and he's like at the, when he's he's like a fly buzzes by his face, and he's just wailing at. It. He's like K- K- go go get out of here in the middle of his speech, and when he's done with his speech, he goes, "I'm finished," just like that. I'm finished. If you guys, I'm done. We, we, we've spoken about Gary Vaynerchuk before. All right, we're gonna make this an unofficial battle. You know that we just had, but if you care, just pause the pause this thing, and then go back just just like a minute or two ago. Listen to a random Gary Vaynerchuk. Listen to what's the ROI of your mother, which is a very famous Gary Vaynerchuk video, and then come back to this podcast and you let Daddy know that he won the competition. Oh, wait a minute. Sorry. Wait. Was yeah. that Cal? Cal? Yeah. Cal- <laughs> this fucking guy. Say that. I swear to God. You know what? While he's saying that, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna start to end it. Oh, the, the train. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm gonna start to end this episode. Well, he, you guys, it's been great. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. All right, it's been great uh, for being but with you it, here for this hour and two minutes that, so far. Whatever it is you're doing, I hope you're enjoying yourself. You're know. walking to work. You're gonna go break up with your girlfriend. You're you're wishing you had a girlfriend. You're using Tinder, whatever it is. Uh-huh. Make sure you go on. Yeah. I- listen, listen to me, okay? okay? You go on iTunes. Just well, go there, all, rate and review. Sure the more you do that, that if we recorded, the more we, we will be able to get ra- like quality. ranked on iTunes and really think, start yeah. moving units. You know what I'm saying? Really, really start selling. You know what I'm saying? A B C always be closing. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Well, double D's. I don't want no fucking dub. Yeah, okay. I got, I got, okay. I got double D's at home. My wife, no, my wife has double D's. You know what myself. I'm talking about? Dom my wife has, has double he D's. He doesn't even know. He doesn't even know that this is happening. So he's a fucking piece of shit. I mean, personally, between me and you, but nah. It's, it's, no, it's cool, dude. Don't worry. I'm not doing anything. It does not matter. I have all the time for you. I'm not, even, I'm, I'm not even talking what, anymore. Do, what, listen, what, listen to this oaf what is it? on the what phone. What is it? Uh? Oh, I could do that, man. I could. T- Matter of fact, I'll be over there right now. All right, just just give me a second. Let me get off the phone. All right. All right. I need you to kick it from the top. One. Wait, two, wait, 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 hold. What do you mean, okay? What do you? What is it, Eddie? Listen. Look, look. I just want to flutter. I just. We have a competition. Put, we have a competition coming just not, not up in just a matter of drums. weeks. In a matter of not, two weeks. Just, I need you to don't. go at one, two, three, go. Stop. Ed, stop. That is not my tempo. Listen to Ugh. me. Listen to me. When I tell you to go, Ugh. you don't do the preemptive little taps. The one, two, three oh. is the preemptive tap. Oh, oh, God. One, just, just two, don't three. Oh, oh. Stop. Oh. Stop. Listen. Come, come close. Come close. Come close. Come close. All right. All right. Are, 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 you, are you lagging or are you speeding through the sub- just Listen to me. Listen to me. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's the tempo. One, two, three. Do you understand that? Okay, from the top. One, two, three, go. No! 
No! No! I got fucking right whiplash on my neck. That hurts. Stay right here. I'm going to go get a weapon. Hold still. No, please. Blah!